Battlegrounds PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds PUBG, is a competitive survival shooter formally developed, published by Bluehole. PUBG is now being developed by PUBG Corp., a Bluehole subsidiary company in cooperation with Brendan Green, PlayerUnknown, as the creative director, PUBG is Green's first standalone game. Players are dropped into a wide, open area, and they must fight to the death, all while the battlefield shrinks, adding pressure to all in its grip. Use a variety of interesting weapons and vehicles amid the battlegrounds. Killing off another player cuts down on your competition, but it also offers up the opportunity to grab some loot. Your character can only carry around a limited amount of gear, so there are important questions to ask whenever you come across new items. Is it better to stick with your current 9mm pistol, or hold out hope that you'll be able to find ammo for a found 12-gauge shotgun? Battlegrounds is running on Unreal Engine 4, players take on the Battle Royale experience on one of four maps, each with different characteristics. Battlegrounds is a good balance between Arma 3 and H1Z1. Background, Backstory? Battlegrounds takes place on different islands, maps, but the main island for Battlegrounds is called Arangel. An abandoned Russian island where a military occupation was controlling the island. The military occupation tested chemical, biological experiments on the island's population, after a resistance attack on a biological facility, the island had to be abandoned. Features in PUBG? Battleye integration 4 maps, Arangel, Miramar, Sanhok and Vikendi Solo, Duo, Squad and Zombies, Custom Servers. Destruction, bullet travel, bullet drop and attachments that affect the outcome of the gun. Revive down teammates spectating support for team servers when you die. First person only and third with first person availability servers. Game replay 2D, 3D, to see your full game in replay, see how you died, make machinimas, etc. Killcam for solo game mode, it will not come to duo or squads, wide range of weapons ranging from assault rifles, submachine guns, sniper rifles, light machine guns, shotguns, pistols, melee weapons and more. Weapon customization character customization military in-game gear ranging from backpacks, helmets, one-piece suits and vests. Cosmetic items ranging from jackets, masks, glasses, pants, shoes, shirts and more. For more, head to the ability to eject from the plane whenever you want. Ability to join disconnected matches. All mocap animations colorblind support PUBG partners get their own custom servers, partners only Discord server, early access to new features, exclusive swag and in-game items and more. NVIDIA Shadowplay highlight support and more features, coming soon? Modding support create your own game modes, maps, etc. Renting servers, like in the Battlefield series, having any user create their own league. New map and more non-roadmap items, features single player where 4 to 5 of your friends play single player campaign set in the 70s to try and take back the island from the militia. Spawning into the game? When you spawn, everyone in the game gets put in on a small island where you wait X amount of minutes to load into the game, here to make the players load into the game properly with all the assets, after the time limit is up during the starting area, you get teleported in a paradrop plane, you get flown over an area and then you get thrown out of a plane with a parachute. Once landed, loot spawns in different areas, it's based on the Arma 3 model, it's all random. The loot system is a lot more in-depth than H1Z1, so there will be more time spent farming for better weapons, attachments, armor, etc. What can the player hold? Depending on the player's gear vest 1-3 and backpack 1-3 you can hold as much as you can carry in your slots. A player can hold two primary weapons, one pistol, one melee weapon and grenades. All weapons, items that are on the player or weapon itself don't take up inventory space in your backpack. You can have one grenade on your character, while any extra grenades you pick up take up space. Fun facts, who came up with the map name Arangel? Answer is the map name is PlayerUnknown's daughter name. What about the Dacia sedan? Answer is Pooh watched Top Gear and they always talked about it, that's the reason why it's in the game. Small Top Gear what about the motorcycle, I see a image on the side of it, answer is Bikeman's dad passed away, in honor of him on the side of the sidecar of the motorcycle, it has the picture of his dad. What is player customization like? Answer is think Fallout 4 customization, not Reign of Kings, Ark. 
The people that are behind the customization are the those who did it in APB Reloaded. PUBG, answer is oddly enough, PUBG wasn't the first acronym they choose. It was originally called PUB and PUGS. But it was later on changed to PUBG for the name PUB, not to be common with PUB per bar related search results. Winner Winner Chicken Dinner? Uh, winners in PUBG are shown a message, Winner Winner, Chicken Dinner, which is featured from Green's early Battle Royale games, mods. PUBG Mobile, The Essential Details. PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds mobile game is published by Tencent Games and is available for Android and iOS. The game is currently undergoing a phased rollout, from 19 March 2018, but it is a global rollout and it's available in the UK and other territories on Android. The iOS version is also available. You can find the Android version on Google Play and the iOS version on the Apple App Store. PUBG Mobile Minimum Requirements PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds mobile game is a persistent online game, so you'll need a connection to the internet to play, be that via mobile network or Wi-Fi, but the lower the ping the better. The tech specs for Android are Android 5.1 and higher and at least 2GB of RAM. The iPhone version needs iOS 9.0 or later, so a full range of iPhone models back to iPhone 5s are supported and iPads back to iPad Mini 2, as well as iPod Touch 6 Gen. PUBG Mobile, the basics of gameplay battle royale basically means all against all, a bit like the Hunger Games where you start with nothing and have to scavenge and collect weapons and equipment. The game is ultimately a battle to the last player standing, with 100 players on an 8 by 8 kilometers island. There are three modes of play, solo, duo and squad, with the latter letting you team up with three other players for a team of four. Each is a little different with various pros and cons, the big pro of team play being that have people to support you, revive you and bring an element of cooperative tactics to the game. The game starts with you parachuting onto the game island. On landing your mission is to gather everything you can to help you win, from clothes to medical supplies to weapons, with a wide range of weapons and modifications for those weapons. The island is a mixture of urban and rural environments, detailed in the map in the top right-hand corner of the game, and the full area is initially playable, but the play areas decreases in size as time progresses. This forces the players closer together with ever-decreasing circles, those left outside the safe play space will start to take damage and eventually die. The game reaches its climax when the last few players are condensed down into a small space and one player or team emerges as the victor. Each game can last up to about 30 minutes if you're one of the last standing. Of course, you can die almost as soon as you're on the ground. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Subscribe our channel and see many more videos.